Hello and welcome back to another Touring Teacher Lesson video. Today I've got another poetry lesson for you guys. We're going to be learning all about how to write a sonnet. Now you may be thinking, hmm, this sounds very familiar. And that's because a few years ago I visited Shakespeare's hometown of Stratford-upon-Avon and we met some really interesting people and we learned about Shakespeare and a little bit about sonnets. So maybe you can have a look at that after this one. So first of all, let's have a look at what actually is a sonnet. Sonnets are a type of poetry and they have been around for many, many, many years. Now there are two types of popular sonnets. One of them is called a Spenserian sonnet and one of them is called an English sonnet. Now we're going to be focusing on the English sonnet today. Here is a little example of a small chunk of William Shakespeare's probably most famous sonnet, Sonnet 18. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. All right, so you may have noticed some of the things that we need to include already. But let me go through a list of the rules that we need to follow when writing a sonnet. So each sonnet needs to be 14 lines long. The 14 lines are broken into three groups. These groups are called stanzas. Each stanza has four lines in each. The last two lines of the poem is called a couplet. This is two lines that rhyme with each other. Each line needs to be 10 syllables long. Very good. Now you may be thinking, oh, remind me what a syllable is? Well, we have a whole video all about haiku poems that goes into greater depth, so you can look at that if needed. But for a little bit of a refresher, a syllable is a sound that is made up in a word. So all words have sounds that come together and the sounds are syllables. Now every word has a certain amount of syllables in it. So let's take the word hello. That should have two syllables in it, hello. You could also clap it out, hello. So that's what I use when I'm doing syllables. All right, let's take a closer look at what a stanza is. Now sonnets have very strict rules that we need to follow. So we can use these examples to help us follow the rules. A stanza has four lines in it and there is a certain rhyming pattern. So I've got A, B, A, B and I've color coded them because that really helps me. So A and A are both blue, which means that line one and line three have to rhyme with each other and B and B are both red, which means line two and line four need to rhyme with each other. So here's my example of a stanza, which is just one of the parts of my sonnet. In the summertime, it is time to play, going to the park, beach, or to the pool, where we can splash about all of the day and slurp on ice cream so we can be cool. All right, let's have a closer look at my example and make sure we're following all of the rules. Now, a really good helpful tip is when you're starting off your sonnet with your first stanza, Talk about what your topic is in the first line. So you can see in my one that I have written the word summertime. So that is my topic. So what we're gonna do is we're going to check that line one and line three rhyme, because they're the ones in blue. So it is time to play and splash about all of the day. So play and day rhyme. So tick, I've done that so far. Let's check if the line two and line four rhyme beach or to the pool so we can be cool. Yes, so my blue lines rhyme and my red lines rhyme, so I'm doing it well so far. And what we also need to check is that we've got 10 syllables in each line. Now, this is the tricky part, I would say, so let's have a double check that I've done it properly. In the summer time, it is time to play. Yes, going to the park, beach or to the pool. Very good. So you can have a check of my other lines if you like, but that's something to really make sure you're doing when you're writing your own sonnet. All right, now we're going from the beginning stanza, going right to the very end, to the last two lines, which is called the couplet. 
Now these have some other rules as well. The couplet is the last two lines of the poem. It needs to give a conclusion to the poem and the two lines need to rhyme with each other. So as you can see, they're both in blue and they're both A, so line one and two will rhyme with each other. So while the sun is glowing out there, then why on earth am I sitting in here? So that was my conclusion of the whole summertime sonnet. It's got 10 syllables in both of those lines and both the lines rhyme with each other. All right, so that's the end of this lesson now, but on the next slide, you will see a full example of my whole sonnet written about summertime. And at the bottom, it's got those reminders of all the rules we need to follow to make sure that we're doing the sonnets properly. Now, after you've read my full one, make sure to have a look at the other Shakespeare video if you want a bit more inspiration, and then you can get started writing your own sonnet. I would love to hear them. So you go have fun with that and I will see you guys very soon.